Welcome everyone. Um, this is a video for uh, the maths master's programs at Harriet Watt University. My name is Simon Mallam, so that's me there. And uh, I'm going to take you through the various master's programs that we offer at Harriet Watt University. And um, I'm the director of the um, uh, admissions uh, for, the, for those master's programs. And uh, so I'm going to tell you all about them. Um, these slides are based on a colleague of mine who was involved with admissions for our sister department, the Actual Maths and Statistics Department, which you'll hear a little bit about in this uh, uh, presentation. Um, but this is mainly about the Department of Maths. Now, um, let me start um, by addressing uh, what you can see as the uh, uh, icon on the bottom right, the fact that Harriet Watt has now been around for 200 years. So um, that's quite a big thing. Let me just give you a little bit of that because it gives us some history on uh, Harriet Watt. Um, so yes, it is 200 years since Harriet Watt started um, back in uh, 1821. And uh, there's some information there and you can find this on our university web pages about uh, what we're doing to celebrate that fact. Um, and just to kind of give you a, a very brief kind of understanding of what's, uh, uh, how everything started, you can see here that in 1821, uh, a linen merchant, Leonard Horner, and a uh, clockmaker, Robert Bryson, founded the Edinburgh School of Arts, the first, uh, uh, the world's first mechanics institute. And um, so that then later, with some funding from uh, George Herriot's Trust and the James Watts Subscription Fund, uh, um, essentially became Herriot Watt College. And then in 1966, we became a, a university. Um, and so you can look all these details up on our webpage if you'd like, but uh, that's a fantastic thing for us to celebrate. Okay, so um, back to what I'm going to cover. So in this brief video, I'm going to talk about um, who, who we are at the moment in terms of, you know, what we provide, um, what master's programs we offer and what sort of uh, uh, um, part of those uh, programs and why you should choose um, the particular master's programs that we offer um, here at Herit Watt for the, uh, in terms of the mathematics department. Okay, so who are we? Well, um, as I mentioned, in 1966, we became a university. Um, and ever since that time, the, the maths and computer science departments have been very strong. Um, and especially in the um, sort of mid 70s, the maths department at Harriet Watt has been exceptionally strong. And that was um, largely at the very beginning surrounding people who were involved in um, partial differential equations and continuum mechanics and so forth. For example, um, Professor Robin Knopps and also here, Professor Sir John Ball. Now, uh, John Ball is uh, very famous in Britain uh, in terms of the mathematics that he does as well as in the world. And uh, so he was here from the sort of the mid 70s until the mid 90s and uh, was responsible for a lot of developments in the um, area of sort of continuum mechanics and uh, material science. And in, for example, the mathematics that's used in, in, in sort of developing uh, uh, and, and um, looking at new materials um, is the calculus of variations. And he was involved a lot in the sort of research at the time involved with what are um, conditions for existence of energy minimizers for certain crystalline structures and so forth, um, including sort of, you know, quasi-convexity and polyconvexity and so forth. And in fact, some of the sort of um, conditions that he gave um, uh, for the existence of certain types of kind of structures uh, have now proved, you know, sort of to, to become reality. So some new materials have been uh, constructed uh, recently, based on the research that he did uh, back then. Um, so, um, Professor jo Sir John Ball um, left Harriet Watt to go to Oxford University um, in the mid 90s, and then um, he came back about three or four years ago, and he's now back with us here at Harriet Watt. But he is one name in particular that's synonymous with the Mass Department at Harriet Watt that's really kind of pushed our department, um, uh, making into a very strong. Uh, department uh, within the UK uh, in, in general. So one area of strength that we have, of course, at Heriot-Watt is there for continuum mechanics and, and its relation to material science. Uh, another area that we're very strong in, um, particularly at Heriot-Watt, is um, mathematical biology. 
Um, I include with this mathematical ecology and um, mathematical medicine. And one of the main proponents of that, who's been at Heriot Watt since um, around 2000, is Professor Jonathan Sherratt. And uh, so he's well renowned for his research in those three areas, math, biology, ecology, and medicine. And um, he's largely responsible for the very strong group we ha have in the math department in that area. And a lot of uh, um, the uh, undergraduate as well as postgraduate sort of um, students that, that we get want to study those sorts of areas and Herit Watt within Britain. I mean, Britain itself is a very, uh, uh, is very strong in mathematical biology, ecology and medicine. And Herit Watt is, is one of the places in Britain where it's particularly strong as well. And so, um, as you'll see in a bit, that's kind of one of the sort of uh, sets of programs that we provide that uh, might be of interest to you. Okay, so um, let me move on. We also have close links to the financial sector. So um, Edinburgh, um, maybe you know, is of course a, a center for uh, insurance and finance and risk and risk management and so forth. So for example, you can see you know, Aberdeen Asset Management and Standard Life. I think now they've joined together, Scottish Widows, RBS and so forth. And we have very strong links with, with uh, uh, that sector within uh, uh, Edinburgh. And our students, as you'll see in a little bit, particularly for our quantitative finance degree, um, quite often uh, go and do projects with them. And I'll mention that in, in just a moment. OK. Um, uh, in terms of the uh, um, uh, uh, mainstream mathematics that we might be doing, we it's important to mention that at Herit Watt, uh, the mathematics department and our sister department, the actual maths and statistics department, a part of what is called the Maxwell Institute. Um, and uh, well, the Maxwell Institute is a, a virtual institute, but it is an institute in which the um, School of Mathematical Sciences at Edinburgh University and these our two maths departments that we have here at Heriot Watt are combined as one institute. And as far as um, research from the level of PhD student and upwards goes, we're considered to be the same unit. So if you, um, for example, finish your master's degree and you want to go on to do a PhD, then you will join the Maxwell Institute and you will maybe in the first year take courses and projects which are given by either one of the um, sort of departments at Heriot Watt or one of the, or the School of Mathematical Sciences at the University of Edinburgh. And then you can choose a supervisor from either the University of Edinburgh or from Heriot Watt. And so it's quite uh, flexible and fluid in that sense. Um, and it's quite important because then you get to experience courses both at Edinburgh University as well as at Harriet Watt um, from the level of PhD and upwards. That's important. Also, um, Edinburgh is, a, is very well placed because um, uh, um, many decades ago, the International Centre for Mathematical Sciences was, was set up. That's also joint between um, the School of Mathematical Sciences at Edinburgh and the two math departments at Heriot Watt. And lots of research takes place there. They have lots of conferences and workshops and researchers um, uh, are passing through um, International Centre for Mathematical Sciences. And you can hear lots of talks and also public talks there and so forth. And, and uh, that's a very much a, an important resource that you can take advantage of uh, through your times of, of masters uh, study that you're that you're here and regularly we um, tell our students to go and listen to talks that are, that are given over uh, in at the International Centre which is in, in the centre of Edinburgh and also we have this global research innovation and discovery um, uh, building which you can see here that's the picture that you can see there and that's a, a very nice place uh, to um, um, study and also there's the maths cafe there one of part of which is is dedicated towards uh, MSc study where you can go along and ask questions um, and, and so forth. Okay. Um, one sort of very important aspect of uh, the mathematics at Heriot Watt, um, which we really like to tout, uh, which is true, is that um, in the last sort of REF, that's the research environment framework. So that's uh, essentially every six or seven years all the UK universities and all the departments in all areas are assessed in terms of their quality and in mathematics uh, we were rated fifth in the UK for the volume of top quality research output in the last research environment framework so 
that's fifth in the UK. So that gives you an idea of the quality of research uh, that our uh, um, academics are doing and the quality of the projects that you would do at the MSc level and also later on maybe at the PhD level if that's, that's what you're thinking about. Um, let me just come back to this uh, connection that we have with um, the sort of finance and insurance and risk uh, sector in Edinburgh. So we do offer the QFM degree. This is the quantitative finance and mathematics degree uh, um, here at Heriot Watt. Uh, that program is accredited uh, by Premier. So Premier, as you can see there, stands for the Professional Risk Managers International Association. And so if you take the QFM degree and you take the sort of uh, accredited set of courses that you need to take, then you will get that accreditation automatically as, um, from your studies, assuming you, you pass the requisite courses. Um, and then also as part of the um, QFM degree, um, you have the option to um, do a summer dissertation placement um, with one of the companies uh, that I sort of mentioned or some of the others, not just the ones I mentioned earlier on, at the, at, uh, uh, in, the in the city centre. So for example, um, we've had people go and do projects for Aberdeen Asset Management uh, for Scottish Widows and so forth, you know, applications of machine learning to finance and these sorts of topics. The actual companies suggest the, the, the master's projects and then um, you can apply to um, um, do one of these projects. And then if you're successful, you essentially spend the, the summer with the company doing, doing the projects. You also keep a, an academic supervisor while you do that as well. So um, you can always ask us more about that. I'm gonna give you some information about that in just a minute. So what do we offer? Um, I've mentioned uh, a couple of degrees already, um, but this is the full set that we have at the moment of master's degrees. So we offer our straightforward Applied Mathematical Sciences MSc degree that you can see there. Um, and that's uh, uh, sort of a very popular uh, master's course that we have. Um, we offer Applied Mathematical Sciences with Climate Change Modeling. Um, so that's what those, uh, those abbreviations are there. Uh, that's also extremely popular at the moment, as you can imagine. Um, and I'll discuss some aspects of that in a little bit when we come to talking about the courses. Um, also, one of our flagship um, master's uh, programs, and I've mentioned how strong we are in mathematical biology, ecology, and medicine. Well, we offer a master's program in precisely that. Um, and uh, you can take projects, uh, for example, when you come to do your summer dissertation in those areas, and those taking that particular master's program have priority over those, those types of projects with uh, our strong team that we've got here in the last department at Heriot Watt. We offer us a, a more kind of straightforward traditional mathematics MSc degree. Um, so um, where you can take uh, a, a large collection of courses, um, mainly more on the purer side. Um, we offer a computational mathematics MSc, which is also very popular. Uh, we offer this quantitative finance and mathematics degree that I've already kind of mentioned, and I'll mention a few courses of that coming up. And we also offer, um, for those of you who may be have got a, a background in engineering and maybe haven't quite taken a sort of requisite set of, of, of um, high quality undergraduate math courses. We also offer a, a two year applied mathematical sciences MSc degree in which you take a first year as sort of as a pre-masters uh, where we make sure you, you take a, um, a, a very sp special set um, depending on your background of, of courses to help you bring you up to speed. And then if you're su successful with that, you can essentially move on to any one of the the master's programs that we offer here in the second year. Um, if you want to find out more, uh, I'll give you some more information on that in just a moment. Um, let me um, discuss what are some of the courses you might take. So I've got semester one, um, uh, which is essentially from September to December. Semester two is essentially from uh, January to um, April, May. And then there's also semester three, um, which you do a, a summer project. So um, we offer uh, a lot of courses here, as you can see, if sort of, this is just a selection, there's more than this. Um, there are lots more courses and in principle, you, you can take these ad other additional courses um, that, that are not listed here, you know, sort of timetable permitting. Um, uh, but there are of course, certain sets of courses you have to take depending on what uh, master's degree you need to, you, you're, you're wanting to take. 
So um, everyone has to take modeling and tools, um, which you learn about sort of basic statistical modeling and, and also um, uh, learn some Python. And uh, for those of you, of course, who want to do or taking the math, biology and medicine, ecology, uh, MSc, then of course you will be taking the mathematical ecology course. And of course the mathematical biology and medicine course in the second semester and so forth. But we have a, a lots of programs um, with, which are sort of uh, uh, very up to date and um, uh, very relevant to the whatever uh, master's program you've chosen. Um, for example, those of you who are taking the quantitative finance a master's degree, you might be taking this finance and slash optimization course in the first semester and some of the finance and risk courses in the second semester and maybe the stochastic simulation courses and so forth. For those of you who might be taking the applied mathematical sciences with climate change modeling, then um, you would probably want to take uh, the numerical ODEs, for example, and uh, maybe the stochastic simulation and the data simulation uh, course that's offered in the in the second semester, which shows you how to sort of blend uh, models with data to kind of prove forecasting and, and, and so forth. Uh, it's a good question and I've put here at the bottom here, what do mathematicians do? Something I ask my MSc students at the beginning of every course. Um, and so I think it's important for you to kind of think about, you know, um, yourselves, what do mathematicians do? I mean, I have lots of answers for that. I mean, generally my answers are about sort of um, modeling and uh, um, uh, saying something quantitative about sort of a process that's going on and using that information to make forecasts or to optimize results or outputs uh, uh, and so forth. Or you can take that a step forward uh, to order in order to control systems to move them in certain directions. Um, you know, you can take, for example, um, the current pandemic we're in and um, looking at sort of uh, uh, um, how to model that and how to optimize uh, and reduce uh, infections by having some knowledge of the model and the way things might progress and then introducing some controls such as lockdowns and things like that to try and um, minimize uh, the sort of the risk due to the you know, infection to the general populace and so forth. So there's a lot in that but I can add a lot more to that but I'll let you have a think about that in the meantime. Okay, so I did promise you some information about what, how to find out more. Um, you can use that email there. So please feel uh, to use that email. And um, if relevant, that might be passed on to me, of course, directly. You can then ask me questions. You can have a look at these um, web pages. There's a generic one I've got here in the middle. And there's the one at the bottom here. If you have a look at that web page, and that has a nice grid of the different sort of programs that we offer and um, what the um, mandatory and optional courses are associated with those programs and a list of the other courses that you can potentially take uh, timetable permitting and so forth. Um, what can you do with our degrees? Well, you can do a lot. Uh, this is a very brief list here, but um, most people uh, who uh, finish our, our master's degree go on to be uh, do um, uh, PhDs either at Harriet Watt or at the University of Edinburgh or they go to London or Oxford or Warwick and all sorts of places around the UK. Some go abroad to the US and so forth. Um, uh, some people go and work for, for example, there's the BA Systems. I know a couple of people have worked, gone to work for the British Geological Survey, a um, lot become data scientists. Um, quite a few of our graduates, particularly from QFM, have gone to work for a, a risk management company, GEMPACT. Some have gone to the Metropolitan Police. A lot have gone on to do teaching, uh, you know, uh, at uh, secondary schools and so forth. So um, there's a lot there. It's being added to all the time, of course. And again, um, if you want any more details, you can also um, use that email on, on the previous slide to, to contact us to, to find out more. <clears throat> okay, let me wrap up a little bit. So um, why study at Harriet Watt? Well, I think of course, we provide personal tutor and support throughout your degree, and that's kind of important. Um, uh, and our staff are very friendly uh, and always available, and that's certainly uh, something which we pride ourselves on, and, and I genuinely see that every day in, in, the, uh, in the department. Um, we offer cutting-edge courses um, taught by specialists. I hope we kind of convinced you that uh, um, we have specialists in the relevant areas that I've mentioned. Um, and for example, in, if you're taking the quantitative finance degree, then some of those sort of uh, financial risk management courses are given by the actual maths and statistics department. So you'll get them uh, straight from them. Um, 
we have contact with industry, as I've mentioned, um, uh, uh, particularly for the quantum finance uh, uh, and mathematics degree. Um, I'll add to this uh, another statistic we're very proud of that um, for two years running, um, we had a 100% overall student satisfaction um, in the postgraduate taught environment survey. And so uh, that's 100% everyone on the courses, all of the courses, mathematics MSc courses, um, uh, <clears throat> were satisfied with their MSc course. So I'll add that to my list of why I come to Harriet Watt, student satisfaction. Uh, and then finally, uh, let me give you a nice picture of the center of Edinburgh uh, with the castle in the background. And uh, please feel free to um, email uh, that address that uh, you saw earlier on. And if you have any questions, um, and you can also direct them to me if you need to, but uh, I'll stop there and thank you for listening. Thank you.